There should be no divisions. Right. right. That's right. It's supposed to be as it is written according to these scriptures. No word of doctrine. All right, let's, uh, let's finish this off and get to All our right. next. We got two more. 28 and 29. Matthew 19. And everyone that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold, Oof. and shall inherit everlasting life. You hear that? Lord said, you give it up off me, I got you. Yeah. yeah. Right. And that's how we got to be even when, when the Lord called Peter. Peter had to roll with the Lord, man. Three and a half years. That's right. Remember, these men had wives and all <coughs> okay, It's time to go get this work done. He was at the gig. He was at the gig. He left his father in the boat fishing. Right, right. Went to other servants. Left his daddy in the boat. I'm out of here. <laughs> Why? The Lord just called him. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So your whole mindset, no matter what's happening, he's supposed to be spreading his gospel. Right? Yep. Got to realize that we need to be a father, to Christ, man, women, children. Right? We got to understand that the men belong to Christ. That's right. That's their head. They held accountable to regardless of what happened. Right. He got to go do that work for the Lord. Right? His help needs you to understand that. That's right. You understand what it is. But men, they show you working for the Lord. Okay? Right. 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 right? If you're doing the work, it should be able to be shown. Like, okay, yeah, it's going down. Should be cool with it if, if it is what it is. I'm supposed to drop it. Well, it depends on when. As for me and I, we are right. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Regardless if she cool with it or not, there is no, no, no. it has to be done. You see what I'm saying? And the Lord told Peter and them right there, like, look, man, we don't have to suck off me. I got you. That's right. Right? So you got to be willing to put this work in no matter what's going on. No matter what's going on. All right? Come on, brother. Finish it up. Third. Mm -hmm. But many that are first shall be last. Mm -hmm. And the last shall be first. Mm -hmm. Mark 4, 33, 41. Mark chapter 4. Again, y'all just going over the faith. Yes, we got to keep the commandments. Yes, we know the Sabbath is the day and not tomorrow. We understand all this. Right? But the bus don't stop what you find out the Sabbath day to day. Right. Not tomorrow. Right. You got plenty of work to do in this thing. Man. Right. I got to roll out, y'all. All right, brother. Yeah, I need that jersey. Uh, I need that jersey. Deuteronomy 28. All right, good bro. How do you been this Hebrew way? Most out of the witch. All right, Mark 4, 33 to 41. We only got a few more, y'all. We're just going over these scriptures. The faith of the righteous. And uh, if, you, if you lack it in faith, we can faith, pray to the Lord that he strengthen your faith. That's right. He can get it, but pray to him without doubt. No, he can get it done. And know also that you will be taken through uh, trials and tribulations. This is what it is. This is what it is. I'm pretty sure my, my brother, our elder Daniel, right here, got plenty of stories. So, plenty of them. Right. The many, the many distractions. The, you know what I'm saying? The all, the, all the, uh, everybody coming trying to get you off the scripture. Yeah. The personal thing is going crazy. <laughs> Guess what? That brother don't miss a Shabbat. No. Hey, I've been doing it 30 years. No, That's why I'm saying. People be talking and whatever. I don't even want to hear all that. Right. I don't even want to hear it. Why? Because we got brothers that paved the way before we even showed up. Right. Right. I mean, brother's so strong, man. We got brothers been around longer than we've been alive. And still banging the truth. So all that, I'm tired. Ugh. I don't know. Ugh. You feel me? Excuse me. Hey, brother, you know how much patience it takes? Man. You feel me? His brothers are stiff necked people. <laughs> brothers come, brothers go, falling out. Brothers still hurt. You feel me? You can't do nothing but salute and respect that, man. Right. Keep and, and try your best to keep moving. Pray to the Lord and deal with you that long. But I'll pray to the most side. I pray you got some. I read Mark, Mark chapter 4, 33 through uh, 41. Everybody there? Yeah, we Thank you, sir. And with many such parables spake he the word unto them, as they were able to hear it. But without a parable spake he not unto them, and when. Read that again. But without a parable spake he not unto them, and when they were alone, he expounded all things to his disciples. And the same day, when even was come, he saith unto them, 
let us pass over to the other side. And when they had sent away, I'm sorry, let me get again. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind and waves and beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And he was in the hindered part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. <laughs> There's a great storm going on, and the Messiah sleep in the back of the ship, on a pillow. But a tsunami about to hit. Come on, brother. And they awoke him and said unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fierce? How is it that ye have no faith? No faith. <laughs> We about to die, Lord. <laughs> the Lord put you first. Well, he sleep right there in the ship. Right. You scared? Went to the ship. Went to Screaming even when the ninja could fight. <laughs> Sleep too. He ain't tripping up. Right. He ain't tripping. Come on, bro. Verse 41. Yeah. And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What man of man is this? <laughs> and even the wind and the sea obeys thee. No, they said they feared exceedingly. That's a major storm right there. The Lord get up from sleep and calm the storm down. And that blew everybody's mind. Hold on, even the winds, storms obey. But he knows he told him that that fear come because you lack faith. What are you scared of? You see that? What are you scared of? Jump back to the chapter for me, brother. Walk two, one to twelve. Faith of the righteous. And then uh, before we get out of here, we're going to read the story of Abraham when he was thrown in the fire and furnace out of the book of Joshua. Yeah. And how he was protected because of what? But his brother that was thrown in there with him burned up. Because he was half hearted and he didn't really believe. He, he knew he knew Abraham was well, what he was saying was true, but he was like, look, look, if you if you write I'm rolling with you, but if they didn't write I'm rolling with them. Right. And that mindset had him half hearted in a fit strike. Like and he burned up in that promise. See, you can't be like that. Even in the face of adversity, you gotta be fully persuaded that the Lord got you. <laughs> fully persuaded. He's getting it. They over there sharpening guillotines right now. Huh? <laughs> they sharpening guillotines right now. What's going on? Dang, brother, I don't know. See, I wouldn't comment oh, serious out here. Right? I always keep in mind they killed the Son of God. Who am I? Right. Who am I? I ain't nowhere near worth. Right. They feel right. them, then who am I? <clears throat> Just what it is. I go up the second chapter, brother. All right. Read that Everybody one there? for me. All right. Mark chapter 2, starting the first verse. Then Mark chapter 2. And again he entered into Capernaum after some days. And it was noise. Let me read that again. And again he entered into Capernaum after some days. And it was noise that he was in the house. And straightway many were gathered together, insomuch that there was no room to receive them. No, not so much as about the door. And he preached the word to them. By, by this time his fame had already spread so much. Because all of Jesus Nazareth over there. You feel me? So he like, man, he got so thick over there, he just kept preaching the word to him. Everybody knew, like, okay, he heard. It. So then they rushed the house. Mm, come on, bro. And they came unto him, bringing one sick of palsy, which was born of four. Uh, what's palsy? Do it. What's palsy, bro? <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> 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 Like cerebral palsy. Cerebral. Yeah, which is always a brain. Yeah, yeah it's, and which causes, you know, mass function with 
muscles and all. Right. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, so, so this is somebody that that that's really jacked up right here. All right, so the Lord, they brought him somebody that got cerebral palsy of the palsy. And when they say born of four, they had to carry him in. Couldn't walk. Had to carry him in there. All right, come on, brother. Verse 4. And when they came, and when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when he had broken it up, they let down the bed we're in the sick of the palsy lake. You see that? They're like, damn, we can't get the door off. Turn the roof off this thing. Wow. <laughs> you see, you, you see they mindset like, again. Yeah, 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 they yeah, yeah, they yeah, whole yeah, mindset yeah, was like, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ain't no face like this, no more. I got to get you. To you see that? They like, well, look, the door, the door jammed up. We about to take the roof off this thing. We need to get to him. That's, that's faith right there, man. Oh, Come on, bro. It works. A woman with the, with the issue of <laughs> for 12 years was busting through that crowd. Mm -hmm. It was thick. Right. She fought her way through the crowd and just mm -hmm. reached out and, and touched it. Mm -hmm. Out of all the people he knew uh, yeah. who had touched them with faith. Mm -hmm. Same way, y'all. You turn off a roof to get in there to hear <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Come on, brother. Verse 5. Yeah. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. Not what? Thy sins be forgiven. So his sins is connected to his sickness. Uh-oh. 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 U
Yeah. Belief means your strong faith. That's right. And y'all know what they're saying, he, he was, uh, you're seeing it, forgiving thee, you know, like Valley says, a lot of this is, is y'all, it's called uh, being, or we inherited this from our parents, these sicknesses and illnesses. You know, because they were lawbreakers. So we have that in our DNA, y'all. But the most high will break that curve. You know, and he'll start a new generation over, y'all. And you and your children won't have the curse of hypertension and, and these different types of sicknesses that David spoke about in Psalm 51 when he said, I was shaken in the nigga. You know what I mean? That how we say he was born and seeing his flesh is set to die. Because right. of the sin of Adam. So, thy sins be forgiven thee, O Most High. He, he refreshed that sin. I mean, he cleansed his skin at that point of that death disease. So, y'all, a lot of times it's hereditary, and a lot of times it's your behavior. What you choose to continue to do. Even though you know what the scriptures say, you say, I'll change my style. I'll do it later. It ain't hurting that bad yet. Or I've been eating for right there, you know, and, and why do you continue doing I just like the taste of it. So that's exactly what they say. Just the taste of it. Well, seeing taste we can be sweet. <laughs> if it tastes bad, you can all of us will be in perfect shape. Alright. Alright, all right, let's get this. Matthew 17. Everybody there? Only got a few more scriptures, y'all, that we are out of here. Y'all take these things home, study them. That's right. Real me in black faith, you pray to the Lord. And he give you stronger faith. And he get more on your fur, your fur game, man. That's right. Now we both at least be praying to the Lord at least three times a day. Minimum. And you meet them Muslims who pray more than you? Mm. They pray five times a day. Lazy praying. In the bed, turn into the heat. <laughs> you know? <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> 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 the 
rest of them boys' names. He wanted them. No, a lunatic. Right. <laughs> he said, he, my son is a lunatic, huh? Lunatic. Come on. And so a vex. And for all times he fall, he falleth into the fire. Uh -huh. And off into the water. You know what they call that today? Suicide. I swear it was suicide. What kind of disease is that? You just falling out. Uh, epileptic. Epileptic. Yeah. 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 See that? Yeah. It's falling out. Blame. 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 Come on, brother. He called him a lunatic. Come on, brother. Verse 16. And I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation. <laughs> oh, God, that's an unbelieving and wicked generation. Mm, come on, bro. How long shall I be with you? Mm. How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. Mm. And Jesus rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him. He's showing you that there will be demons on people. Yeah, you right. sick like that and be going through certain things. That'd be straight demons on me. Yes, sir. A little like rebuke the devil to get up off of him. Come on, brother. And Jesus rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. See, no 12-step program, no take two of these, call me in the morning. <laughs> None of that. At all. That very hour, the Lord rebuked the devil, and guess what? That person was cured. They feel me, he said, why the disciples couldn't do it? It's a lack of faith. Come on, brother. Verse 19. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, why could not we cast him out? Right. Hold it down, y'all. And Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief. So you can cast out demons and devils. See that? But you better be going there with full belief. And guess what? You'll get handled. Mm -hmm. Quick. <laughs> Read that Acts 19. Them boys got handled. Handle. That spirit jumped on them boy. They, they stripped butt naked, start cutting themselves around the bottom. Huh? So guess what? The Lord said, because of your unbelief, you need to believe. But when they're half cocked, talking about you finna go cast some demons out. Mm -hmm. I say, I believe. Right. Speaking, <laughs> as, speaking as a man, I believe what happened, like you said, because he was acting such irate to them. They probably was just scared of the way he was at. See, but God and gave you spirit of fear. What are you scared of? Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, when, you're, when you call your own child a mm -hmm. imagine what the person next to you who don't know your child thinks. No, no, no. What about the boy that lived in the graveyard? Mm. Oh, oh, right. Right. Everybody was scared of him. The no one had locked him in. They had to rebuke the devil off him. That boy was sitting at the Lord's feet. Everybody looking like, what? He <laughs> 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 lived in the graveyard. Come on, brother. Verse 20. And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of the mustard seed. Mustard seed is like one of the smallest seeds on the planet. That's right. He said, if your faith was that small, come on, brother. Ye shall say unto the mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove. And nothing shall be impossible unto you. That's brand new. Y'all believe that? Mm -hmm. He's saying if you really believe what it is, you can ask for it. You can submit your supplication and petition to the Lord, and it's done. No matter what obstacle in your life, big old mountain or not, whatever you're going through, you can ask the Lord to get about your life in the name of His Son. It's done. Have a patience to receive. That's right. See, we the microwave generation, like my brother always say. Yeah. Uh, on a light switch generation. It gotta happen right now. You better have the patience to receive it. You will miss out on your blessing. Come on, brother. It shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. How be it, this kind goes not out but by prayer and fasting. So then he put something else on me. He was like, because of your unbelief, because of your lack of faith. But there are certain demons that won't get expelled unless you've been praying and fasting. That's right. So prayer and fasting are weapons in this spiritual warfare. Yes, sir. You look at prayer like, ah, oh, dang, I got to talk to the Lord again. That's actually a weapon you have to do. Fasting too. Right? How you get demons about you? Starve them out. Starve them out. Starve them out. They feed on what you feed. That's Starve right. them out. And then while you're not eating, feed your spirit with this word right here. You see that? You gotta feed your spirit what the demons been dwelling at with this word. Cut them up out of it. So he say this kind of demon, because the disciples couldn't cast them out. Step one, unbelief. And then two and three, 
You got to pray fast. Mm -hmm. See that? Now, 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 well, now, brother, that's that spookisms. <laughs> ain't nothing spooky about it. Mm -hmm. It's ink on paper you believe. And if you ain't never even attempted to even try to get nothing off you, how you know? How you speak against How you know? How you speak against If you ain't ever been in no spiritual warfare and the seen demons get up off people, how you know it can't happen? You don't know. You just like, no, oh, that can't happen. So now you shortchanging the Lord. That's right. You asked me if you're saying something. I'm just saying assume. Yeah, assume. Something. All right, y'all. Romans 4, 17 through 25, and brother Brad and Jackson for me. Yeah, I'm going to get that Romans 3 31 right quick first. Right. They, call, um, they call them war with speaker or something like that. They yeah. war with. You said what, brother? They call them a war with that type of person. They got a name what's called war with or something like that. A war with speaker? Something like that. A war with a problem. A proud speaker or something? Yeah, I'm from the world. Yeah, from the world. Yeah, from the world. Yeah, from the world. Just always into wickedness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. from the world. Yeah, it's from the world. Lines of the final yeah. conscience. Yeah. Yeah. I just get this, y'all. The book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 31. He's going to read verse 31 first, and then he's going to jump down to chapter 4. Says, do we then make void the law through faith? Read, read 30 and 31. All right. Verse 30. Sin it is one God, which shall justify the circumcision by faith and the uncircumcision through faith. That word faith still there for the circumcision and uncircumcision. Right. Faith. Come on, bro. Verse 31. Do we then make void the law through faith? Uh -huh. God forbid. That means no. That you got faith, you don't void the law. Right. Come on, brother. Yeah. Uh -huh. We establish the law. What does it mean to establish? Mm. Uh -huh. Set up. Sure. What'd you say, brother? Set up. Set up. Establish it. That's right. You see that? You, you, you practice it. It's your foundation. That's right. All right. Now look, go over to chapter 4, start at verse 17. By Abraham. I'm back at 16. All right. I'm back at 15. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Romans down. chapter 4. Verse 16. Therefore it is a faith that is might be by grace to the end of the promise might be sure to all the seed not to that only which is of the law but to that also which is the faith of Abraham who is the father of us all. Come on. Verse 17. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations. What Abraham named me father of many nations. Come on, bro. Before him, whom he believed, even God, who quickened the dead and calleth those things which be not as though they were. See, the Lord, do we call them right. things which don't even exist as though they were? That's right. Mm, come on, bro. Verse 18. Who against hope believed in hope. It's talking about Abraham. Who against hope believed in hope. Remember the Lord called Abraham about his house. Get about here, I'm going to show you the land we're supposed to go to. That's right. So against hope believed in hope. Because today, back then, or even today, people say, man, you crazy. You're going to go work. Who? With, and do who? How kind of money you got saved up? Where you going to live at? Abraham said, Lord, call me and leave. That's right. All right, come on, bro. That he might become the father of many nations, according to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. Mm -hmm. Can you read them? Verse 19. And being not weak in faith. And being what? And being not weak in faith. Abraham went weak in faith. That's right. He fully believed the Lord and was tried 12 times and found faithful. Didn't fail not one test. Friend of God. Come on, bro. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead. When he was about a hundred years old, mm -hmm. neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. Yeah, Abraham was a hundred when Isaac was born. Lord promised it to him and he believed in it. Lord, oh, right. the promise. I got to bring it back now. And, right. Huh? She don't get went through menopause and all that. What you mean? That's we right. about to have a seed. He ain't doubt it. Lord told him what's going to happen. Believe it. Lock it right on in. Good. That's on the way. Keep word. Believe. Yeah. Yeah. Believe. With, with, which is faith. Yeah, that's right. right. Come on, bro. Verse 20. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. You see that? He didn't stagger at the promise of God. I mean, he ain't doubted. He doubted. That's right. Through unbelief. Right. Come on, bro. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, mm -hmm. but was strong in faith, mm -hmm. giving glory to God. Come on. And being fully persuaded. And being what? And being fully persuaded. One more time. And being <laughs> fully persuaded. Come on. That what he had promised. He was able also to perform. Now, now the Lord promised 
things to Abraham, and not just to Abraham, but his seed as well. Right? Now, we just read that right there, and it said, in being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able also to perform. Do you believe the Lord is good on what he promised? Mm. Okay. He promised he would gather his people from the four corners of the earth, redeem them, and set them back up as the kings and queens of his planet. Running this planet Earth under our King Christ. That's right. Do you believe that, or is it just something you read? Right. It's a soothing story. It feels good. You know, I know. It's, 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 you know, I read Alan Moore. It's Alan Moore. Yeah, you say it's soothing. It's soothing. It's soothing stories. <laughs> uh, so he, uh, Abraham knew, fully persuaded. The Lord promised it. It's on the way. All right, come on, bro. Verse twenty-two. And therefore. It was imputed to him for righteousness. It was what? It was imputed to him for righteousness. So if you fully persuaded, the Lord imputed that to you for righteousness. Right? Because you fully believe what the Lord talked about. And not only that, we read earlier, Abraham kept the law of God. That's right. But his faith was unwavering. Today our faith be wavered. Right. Feel me? That pink notice coming in the mail, you should wave. It's just a bill. It's a bill. It's right. going crazy. Right. A bill. <laughs> Come on, bro. Verse 24, but for us also, to whom it shall be imputed, if we believe on him that raised up Jesus our Lord from the dead, who was delivered for our offenses, Oof. and was raised again for our justification. For our justification, for us to be declared innocent in the, sight, in the eyes of God. That's why the Lord was delivered up for our crimes against God and raised up. To, uh, for our deliverance, for our justification, for us to be deemed worthy in the eyes of God because ain't none of us worthy. All right, now look, let's get to this Joshua real quick. It's the last one we're going to go to this Joshua. Let me show you this fiery trial Abraham had to undergo. It's the 20th chapter, brother. 12, Joshua 12. 12. Yeah, and uh, for those who are, who are not familiar with Joshua, uh, you write down Joshua chapter 10, verse 13. And 2 Samuel chapter 1, verse 18, it speaks of the book of Joshua, which is a book that is a part of the Bible. Yes. But you got a lot of brothers that don't read out of it, you know, ain't no proof, it's this, this, that, whatever. Right. Whatever. But even Paul knew about the book of Joshua. He, he named the warlocks in Egypt after their names, Janice and Jabari. That's so right. You can't find their names written nowhere in the Torah. Uh oh. You can find it written in Joshua. The name is Janice and Jan Breeze. That's written in the book of Joshua. They ain't written in the Torah. No more. All right? They tell you it was some men that threw their stick on the ground all that, but by name, it's only in the book of Joshua. That means when Paul wrote to Timothy, 2 Timothy 3 and 7, and was talking about Jan Breeze and Janice, that Paul had knowledge of the book of Joshua. That's simple. All right, let's get it, brother. We Joshua 12. Oh, yeah. You want to start verse 1? Yeah, start at verse 1. And let's get on to 2. Let's get on to 2. All right. The book of Jasher, chapter 12, verse 1. And when the king heard the words of Abram, he ordered him to be put into prison. And Abraham was 10 days in prison. Mm -hmm. Abraham walked up. Huh? <laughs> Come on, brother. And at the end of those days, the king ordered that all the kings, princes, and governors and different provinces and the sages should come before him and they sat before him and Abram was still in the house of confinement and the king said to the princes and sages have you heard what Abraham the son of Terah had done to his father thus had he done to him and I ordered him to be brought before me and thus he has spoken in his heart did not misgive him Neither did he stare in my presence, and behold, now he is confined in the prison. Because there was a hit put out on Abraham when he was young. Mm. Abraham was young, the wise men and all that that came to, uh, to his birth. It was, a, it was a sign in the sky like it was when Christ was born. And uh, the wise men knew that whoever born this night would eventually bird the, the one that would drop the devil's king. Uh -oh. So he knew whoever was born tonight through him would come Christ. Even the wise men knew that. They knew that just by looking at the stars. They were like, oh, no. So then they told the king, Nimrod. Nimrod said, you know what? Tell Terra, bring that baby to me. And kill that baby. Well, I tell him how he do it. He did, though. Yeah. He made he dashed his head on the ground with all his might. Yeah. Threw his head against the ground. So what, so what Terra did, 
he didn't want to give up Abraham, he gave him another one of his sons he had to one of his concubines. Right. And they killed the boy. So the king, thinking the promised seed uh, that was supposed to be born to destroy his kingdom, was already dead. Was. He wasn't dead, though. See what I'm saying? He was raised by Shem and all them. And then he yep. comes back to his father's house and he asks his father, Hey, who was the, who was the God that created heaven and earth? Mm. His father said, Oh, you don't know? He said, to, He took him to his closet, opened up his closet, and showed him all the statues and earth. These be the gods that created heaven and earth. So then Abraham was like, what, So then Abraham was like, What you mean? Right? Well, now these are the gods right here. Then Abraham, when he did, he destroyed all his father's gods. And then he left one of them, the, the biggest one, the biggest one yeah. he, he didn't destroy it. He left the axe and he killed all the gods with it. He left it in the possession of the one that was the biggest. So then his father comes back. And his father was like, boy, what you do to all my gods? And he was like, he was like, I didn't do it, he did it. Right. And he pointed to that little idol, that little statue. Right. And his right. daddy started pulling up. What you mean he did it? He can't smell, he can't speak, he can't walk, he ain't got no breath. He ain't no die. So then, right. you know, he was made by my hand. So then Abraham was like, then what you mean he created heaven and earth? Then? Right. right, so with him doing that, that was a capital offense. So he delivered his son over to the kids. He delivered his son over to be killed because he destroyed his God. And some of it like you come in and kicking the Christmas tree over or something. No. Uh, right. You know what I'm saying? But that was a capital offense thing. So they delivered him up to be killed, and this is where we get now. Alright, come on, bro. Verse 4. Yeah. And therefore, decide what judgment is due to this man who vowed the king, who spoke and did all the things that you heard. And they all answered the king, saying, The man who revived the king should be hanged upon a tree. Mm. But having done all things that he said, and having despised our God, mm. he must therefore be burned to death. Mm. For this is the law in this matter. It's like he got to be burned to death. He despised our gods. I took off the mindset of these people. You straight made this thing, and then you vowed to it and called it your God. Y'all hear that? You made it, that's what kneecaps, dusty, bound to it, but you made it. Yeah. Come on, brother. Verse 6. If it please the king to do this, let him order his servants to kindle a fire, both night and day, in thy brick furnace, and then we will cast this man into it. And the king did so, and he commanded his servants that he should prepare a fire for three days and three nights, uh -huh. for three days and three nights in the king's furnace, that is in Cassidy. And the king ordered them to take Abraham from prison to bring him out to be burned. And, and all the king's servants, princes, lords, governors, and judges, and all the inhabitants of the land, about 900,000 men, mm. stood opposite the furnace to see Abraham. Everybody showed up. Yeah. Yeah. Like you should show up for a hanging. Right. Everybody right. showed up for this. Come on, bro. Verse 8. Verse 8. And all the women and little ones crowded upon the roofs and towers to see what was doing with Abraham. And they did all stood together at a distance, and there was not a man left that did not come on that day to behold the sea. And when Abraham was come, the conjurers of the king and Abel. the... Abel. He was Abraham. Yes, Abel. Right. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, but yeah. Uh, verse 9, and when Abram was come, the conjurers of the king and the sages saw Abram, and they cried out to the king, saying, Our sovereign Lord, surely this is the man who we know to have been the child at whose birth the great star swallowed the four stars, which we declare to the king now 50 years since. Like, for 50 years ago, he told you about this boy. Right. He <coughs> saw a sign that he would eventually have a child that would bring down your king. So they knew it, at least with the conjurers and all the magicians and all them. They knew when they looked at him, like, man, that's old boy. Right. We ordered his death 50 years ago. Mm. Come on, bro. Verse 10. And now, his father has also transgressed your commandments and mocked you by bringing you Another child, which you didn't kill. Which thou didst kill. Which thou didn't kill. Did it. Did it kill. Come on, bro. And when the king heard their words, he was exceedingly wroth. 
and he ordered Terah to be brought before him. And the king said, Has thou heard what the conjurers have spoken? Now tell me truly, how, I mean, how didst thou, and if thou shalt speak truth, thou shalt be acquitted. You ready to tell Abraham father? What happened? You tell me the truth, I'll acquit you. Mm. Come on, bro. Verse 13. And seeing that the king's anger was so much kindled, Terah said to the king, My lord and king, thou hast heard the truth. What the uh, savages have, have spoken is right. And the king said, How couldest thou do this thing to transgress my orders and to give me a child that thou didst not beget and take no value for him? And Terah answered the king, because my tender feelings were excited for my son at the time, and I took a son of my handmaid, and I brought him to the king. And the king said, Who advised thee to do this? Tell me, do not hide aught from me, and then thou shalt not die. And Terah was greatly terrified in the king's presence, and he said to the king, It was Haran, my eldest son, who advised me to do this. And, Hera was, and, and Haran was in those days that Abram was born, two and thirty years old. So Abram had a brother that was thirty-two years older than Haran. Haran is the father of Lot. This is Lot's father and Abram, or Abram, right? Now what Terah just did, he just snitched on his other son. Right. And now he snitched lied on him. Right. Just lied on him. His son ain't tell him to do that. But because he was so scared, he didn't gave up not just one of his sons, but two of them. Right. Two of them. Right. Just so he could leave. Right. And then when you read the chapter before, when it was talking about this, when Abraham stood before the same king, uh, Abraham wasn't even scared at all. He didn't even budge at all. Come on, bro. Verse 17. But Haran did not advise his father to anything. So he's lying to save his own scheme. Mm. Come on, bro. Again. But Haran did not advise his father to anything. But Terah said to this king in order to deliver his soul from the king. For he feared greatly. And the king said to Terah, Haran, your son, who advised ye to do this, shall die through fire with Abram. For the sentence of death is upon him for having rebelled against the king's desire in doing this thing. Mm. And Haran at that time felt inclined to follow the ways of Abram, but he kept it within himself. Mm. And Haran said in his heart, Behold, now the king has seized Abram on account of these things which Abram did. And, and it shall come to pass that if Abraham, I mean, if Abram prevail over the king, I will follow him. But if the king prevailed, I will go after the king. So he's not at one. He's finished the crap. He's not at one. He's not at one. With the king on. right, I'm going with the king. You see that? So he's finished the crap. He got on both jerseys. He got on both jerseys. He's playing for both squads. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Now remember, the sentence for both of them is to get thrown in the fire. Both of them. Right? One got full belief and faith, the other one is half hearted. Come on, bro. Verse 20. And when Terah had spoken this to the king, Haran his son, the king ordered Haran to be seized with Abram. And they brought them both, Abram and Haran his brother, to cast them into the fire. And all the inhabitants of the land, and the king's servants, and down, princes, all the, all the king's servants, and princes, and all the women and little ones were there, standing that day over them. And the king's servant took Abram and his brother, and they stripped them of all their clothes except their lower garments which were upon them. And they bound their hands and feet with linen cords. And the servants of the king lifted them up and cast them both into the furnace. <coughs> and the Lord loved Abraham, and he had compassion over him. And the Lord came down and delivered Abram from the fire and he was not burned. There's another story or account in the Bible of this. That's right. Shadrach meets Shadrach and a bad yeah. Negro. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 Now, true about this, all this is in the same era. Them brothers was in Babylon. Yeah. When you think Abraham, at? right yeah. now, before he was called out. Babylon was the capital of Chaldea. That's right. Abraham was from Ur of Chaldea. Yes, he was. 
See that? Same, Same land. land. And then his descendants, year, hundreds of years later, get thrown into a fiery furnace too because they refuse to bow to a false god. That's, That's right. right. See that? Faith will be tried. Your faith will be tried. Come on, bro. Right down there, Daniel chapter 3. Uh, verse, uh, oh yeah, verse 25. But all the cords which they bound him were burned, while Abram remained and walked about in the fire. He did, he put his in there, he walked around. And <laughs> the <laughs> right. Right. Come on, bro, read that again. But all the cords which they bound him were burned, while Abram remained and walked about in the fire. And Haran died when they had cast him into the fire, and he was burned to ashes, for his heart, meaning his mind, was not perfect with the Lord. And those men who cast him into the fire, the flame and I mean the flame of the fire spread over them, and they were burned, and twelve men of them died. Mm. And Abram walked in the midst of the fire three days and three nights. Like Christ was dead three days and three nights. Huh? Mm. That's like right. John was in the belly of the big fish three days and three nights. Come on, brother. Verse 27 again. And Abram walked in the midst of the fire three days and three nights. And all the servants of the king saw him walking in the fire. And they came and told the king, saying, Behold, we have seen Abram walking about in the midst of the fire. And even the Lord garments which are on him are not burned. But the cord with, with which he was bound is burned. And the king heard their words. The I mean, and when the king heard their words, his heart fainted. Uh. And he would not believe them. He almost what? passed out. What? He walking around in the forest. <laughs> 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 Come on, bro. Verse 28 again. And when the king heard their words, his heart fainted, and he would not believe them. So he sent another faithful prince to, uh. see, to see this matter. And they went and saw it and told it to the king. And the king rose to go and see it. And he saw Abram walking to and fro in the midst of the fire. And he saw Haran's dead, um, Saran, I mean, he saw Haran's body burn. And the king wanted greatly. Haran get burned up because he's half hearted. Right. And Abram was still in the fire, walking around, chilling. Why he was fully persuaded? Fully persuaded in God. Come on, bro. Verse 29. And when the king ordered Abram to be taken out from the fire, and his servants approached to take him out, and they could not, for the fire was round about, and the flame ascending toward them from the furnace. Mm -hmm. And the king's servants fled from him. And the king rebuked them, saying, Make haste and bring Abram out of the fire, that you shall not die. Mm -hmm. And the and the servants of the king again approached to bring Abram out, and the flames and the flames came upon them and burned their faces, so that eight of them died. And when the king saw that his servants could not approach the fire, lest they should be burned, the king called to Abram. <laughs> the king called to Abram, O servant of the God. Who is in heaven? See that? Mm -hmm. All gods are not the same. That's right. Even this king had to admit, you must be a servant of the God in heaven. Mm -hmm. right. Come on, brother. O servant of the God who is in heaven, go forth from a mist of the fire and come hither before me. And Abram hearkened to the voice of the king. And he went forth from the fire and came and stood before the king. Mm -hmm. And when Abram came out of the king and all his servants saw Abram coming before the king with his lower garments upon him, and they were not burned. But the cord which he was bound was burned. And the king said to Abram, How is that thou was not burned in the fire? Good question. How was it he was able to survive that fire? Well, nah, you weren't even burned. <laughs> Come on, bro. And Abram said to the king, The God of heaven and earth whom I trust. And whom I what? And whom I trust. And in, in whom I believe, and whom I got full faith in. Right. God of heaven. Come on, brother. And who has all his power. All in his power. All in his power. He delivered me from the fire in which you did cast me. And Haran, excuse me, and Haran, the brother of Abram, was burned to ashes. 
and they sought for his body, and they found it consumed. And Haran was 82 years old when he died in the fire of Cassid. And the kings, princes, and inhabitants of the land, seeing that Abram was delivered from the fire, they came and bowed down to Abram. And Abram said to them, do not bow down to me, uh -oh. but bow down to the God of the world who made you. See that? Y'all don't want these idols and all that. Right. Abram, after the Lord delivered, don't bow to me. That's right. Bow to the Lord that made you. Don't forget this whole thing was about idolatry. Idolatry. Right. Right. The question started out, who made heaven and earth? Then he took his closet and showed some statues that he carved out himself and made. <laughs> He's me the God. right here. Abraham destroyed him and he got him thrown in the fire with burned him because he was riding to die for the Lord and the Lord protected him. That's right. He got him a major name out there. Right. He still told me, and even though he could have took that power and, and left men down there bowing, mm -mm, don't bow to me, bow to the Lord. Come on, bro. Verse 38 again. And he said to them, Do not bow down to me, but bow down to the God of the world who made you and serve him and go in his ways. But it is he who delivered me from out of this fire. And, and it is he who created the souls and spirits of all men. <laughs> Come on. And formed man in his mother's womb. And brought him forth into the world. And it is he who will deliver those who trust in him from all pain. See, those who got faith in the Lord, <coughs> they will be delivered. Come on, brother. And this thing seemed very wonderful in the eyes of the king and princes that Abram was saved from the fire that Haran was burned. Mm. And the king gave Abram many presents, mm. and he gave him uh, his two-hand service from the king's house, the name of one who was on it, and the name of the other was Eleazar. Eleazar. So when you read Genesis 24, right. Abraham got a servant named Eleazar, and he got him, and when he got him out that furnace right there, and the king gave him some servants. That's right. right. Eleazar was a steward of Abraham's goods for his house. And Abraham was 50 when this happened, huh? Yeah. As if, uh, 50 years earlier, then on the way 32. So he was 82. 82. Yeah. 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 Come on, brother. Verse 40. And all the kings, princes, and servants gave.